Okay, so in your packet, can you do me a favor and write x squared quadratic parabola? This entire chapter is everything x squared. You're going to hear the word quadratic a million times. And when you make the u, a fancy way of saying it is parabola. Okay. So the next page is the project. Don't worry about it. This next page is changing from vertex form to standard form. I made a video about it, and I just feel like it's going to be a million times easier if I teach it in person. So I'm just going to change it up. And we're going to go straight here to find square roots. Okay. So you're going to solve by finding the square root. Whenever you square root, you're going to have two answers. Okay. So let me just start, and I will explain it, of course. So I want to get x equals. The problem is there's a squared there. The way you get rid of it is you square root it because the square root and squared are inverses of each other. And then I get x equals, and most of you think, oh, it's 6, but it's going to be plus or minus 6. Let me explain. If I had, sorry about that, 6 squared, it does equals 36, so x equals 6. But I could also have negative 6 squared, and it also equals 36, which means x could also equal negative 6. Let me say it again. You can have two answers. Okay? All right, let's jump down to number 4. Square root, square root. What's the square root of 1? 1. And don't forget, plus or minus. And everybody always says, I'm not going to forget it. And then I teach you something else, and you have to do it, and you forget it. So be careful. Let's look at number 32. I mean, number five, square root, square root, x equals. The problem is that you can't take the square root of 32, but you can treat. 4, 8, 4, 2, there's my double, no point in keep going, and I get 4 square root of 2. Then I put the plus or minus in front. Okay. Number three, that's supposed to be equals. Let's jump to number 8, square root. And I say, hey, what's the square root of 49? 7. What's the square root of 81? 9. X equals plus or minus. Let's jump to number 9, square root, square root. But this time I have a negative. Remember, the square root of negative 1 means I. So X equals 2i, and then plus or minus. Okay. Let's jump to number 12, square root. Problem is, I can't take the square root of 11. You can't take it, leave it. What's the square root of 144? 12, x equals, and of course, plus or minus. Right, number 14, square root, square root, x equals, can you take the square root of 7? No. So leave it plus or minus. Okay? Can you put an equal sign there? Thank you. Now, we're going to get to number 17, and here's where things get different. If you notice, all the other problems said x squared equals, x squared equals, x squared equals. You cannot take the square root until it says x squared equals. So you've got to get rid of the 5. What's the 5 doing? It's multiplying. What's the opposite? Divide. So x squared equals 18. Now that it says x squared, square root, square root, tree it, 6, 3, 2, 3, doubles, 3 square root of 2, x equals, plus or minus. Do number 18. It's got to say x squared equals. It doesn't. So I've got to add 5. x squared equals 21. Now that it says x squared, square root, square root. Can I take the square root of 21? No. Are there any doubles? No. So x equals the square root of 21, but plus or minus the square root of 21. Okay? Let's go to number 20. Not only does it not say x squared, but it's got a 2 and a 30. This reminds me of this problem, which is what the other ones remind me of. If I asked you to solve for x, you first you'd move the 30, then you'd move the 2. So that's what I'm going to do. Subtract 30, subtract 30, 2x squared equals 12. Don't square root yet. Got 
equal to x squared equals 6. Now that it says squared, square root, you can't take the square root of 6. x equals plus or minus square root of 6. Okay. Let's do number 24. Subtract 17. Negative x squared equals negative 8. Doesn't say x squared yet. There's an imaginary negative 1. Divide by negative 1. x squared equals 8. Now, square root, square root, tree, tree, I get 2 square root of 2, x equals plus or minus. Let's do one more on this page, and then the rest will be homework, okay? Subtract 20, negative 1 half x squared equals 8. Don't divide by 2. That's if it was a 2x. If it was 2x squared, you would divide by 2. Because, so you wouldn't divide by 2 here. You multiply by 2. You do the opposite. And let's make it negative 2. Now, by by x squared equals negative 16. It says x squared, square root, square root. But there's a negative. x equals plus or minus 4 i. The square root of negative 16 is the 4 i. And then plus or minus. Let's go to the next page. The next page is the same thing, but it's a little bit different. Before, instead of it saying x squared equals 25, and you would go square root, square root, it says x plus 3 squared equals 25. So you're going to square root that and square root that. But those two should not be confused with x squared plus 3 equals 25. This 3 isn't touching the x squared, so I would subtract 3 and subtract 3. Then... I would square root, square root. So notice the difference between this one, this one, and this one. Those two are the same. Square root, square root. And that one's different. Minus 3, minus 3. Okay? So I'm going to do that. Oh, these are the exact same thing. So whatever. I'll do this one. So I'm going to square root, and I'm square root. I get x plus 3 equals, what's the square root of 25? 5. But remember, every single time you square root, plus or minus. Normally we would be done on the other page, but we still have that minus, that plus 3. So we do the opposite. Don't make it plus or minus 8. This means negative 3 plus 5 and negative 3 minus 5. So negative 3 plus 5 is 2. Negative 3 minus 5 is negative 8. Now, how do you know I'm right? Let's check it. 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 squared, 25. Negative 8 plus 3, negative 5. Squared is 25. All right. Let's do number 6. Square root, square root. x minus 6 equals plus or minus 6. Plus 6. Don't put them together. It's negative 6 plus 6, and um, 6 plus 6. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0, and 6 plus 6 is 12. So 6 plus, no, I probably should have done it this way, 6 plus 6, and 6 minus 6. That's a little easier. How do I know? 0 minus 6 is negative 6, squared is 36. 12 minus 6 is 6 squared is 36. Can you go down to this one, please? Press it, put an equal sign. Okay. What do I do? Square root, square root. x minus 8 equals plus or minus square root of 82. I'm going to try treeing that. And I get 2 and 41 and it's prime. So that's all, that's all I can do. Now what do I do? Add 8, add 8. Remember last chapter, if you have a whole number and you have a square root, they're different. This one you're going to keep apart for now. You'll eventually have to do the decimal. But right now, that's good enough. Okay? Let's do one more. Let's do number 10. Well, we're going to do more than one more. x plus 5 equals plus or minus 4i. Subtract 5. Can't put them together. They're not the same. 
So you're done. Now let's jump to number 12. You can't do an x squared. So I got a problem because it said parentheses x minus 3 squared. But now I got the 2 there. It's being multiplied. The opposite is divide. Now it says, hey, all this is squared. Square root, square root. x minus 3 equals plus or minus 5. Add 3, add 3. 3 plus 5 and 3 minus 5. 3 plus 5 is 8. 3 minus 5 is negative 2. How do you know I'm right? Let's check it out. 8 minus 3 is 5, squared is 25, times 2 is 50. Negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5, squared is 25, times 2 is 50. So I'm good to go. Let's move down here. And let's go try this one. Can't do it yet. Got to add 7. If you're feeling lost on this one, let me remind you. If I had 3x squared minus 7 equals 20, what would you do first? Add 7, and then divide by 3. Same thing. x plus 1 squared equals 9. Now, square root, square root. x plus 1 equals plus or minus 3. Minus 1, minus 1. Negative 1 plus 3. Negative 1 minus 3. Negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. Negative 1 plus 3 is 2. How do you know if you're right? 2 plus 1 is 3, squared is 9, times 3 is 27, minus 7 is 20. Negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3, squared is 9, times 3 is 27, minus 7 is 20. Okay? Your job is to make sure those two pages are 